Oh, um... Is this real? Am I dreaming? I think so, I don't know. White room at me am... Neath. Oh, wait, is this backwards? Uh, white room... The in me find... You... Told I... Some... Wait, what? You told I... What... Forget, don't. Eh? Um... Okay, so we got a phantom now saying, Others at... Others at place... Or... Uh, this... Of... Sp speak... Not must you... But la here if uh, you something something <laughs> or something end. Wh wait, what? What just happened? What just happened? When did Sally grow up? Oh, the only one who li who lived is gone now something uh what should i do Grrr. like what run huh no oh it's run is it trying to say run 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 <laughs> uh, whatever this is um <laughs> Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> oh, we got someone new. A uh, journalist Claire Nettles. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Except the face under the mask. <laughs> that... That's what Sally's hiding. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. The truth and only the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. <laughs> yeah, no comment because whatever you say now, it can be used against you during trial. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly eliminated your mother? How do you explain no witness or evidence of any such person? I don't see the rel relevance of that now. <laughs> yeah, why does Sally always have this small pause before saying something? Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson uh, incident to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? Oh yeah, whatever happened to him? I think what I vaguely remember last time I got him arrested, right? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? Baloney? What? You're afraid of- Sally is afraid of baloney? Uh, I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just- Well, it's a long story. That involves baloney, in a way. 
Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. Story time, story time. The baloney incident. Huh, <laughs> Mr. Doodle. Uh, what if I were more than just a doodle? Well, this is kind of cool. So wait, <gasps> I can actually move! I can't jump though, but this is so cool. I can just move the doodle along the page. Ooh, talk to a triangle person. Hello, are you okay? That was weird. Let's just move on now. Let's talk to this normal triangle person. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone, your head will frighten the children. Uh, well, can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? Enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of despair. But a round head like you will never make it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going off. Down the ladder. Oh, look, a square head. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend. I was... Herf, go bother someone else. Okay. Oh, wait, we got a small one right here. Hello? Are you the platypus? That... I'm not the platypus, okay? Just gonna casually move on, talk to this head. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been crankly lately because of the sun. Oh, it's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people are drawn without limbs. Oh, ever since our people are drawn without limbs. Oh, uh, well, what sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll just seek out the oracle beyond the doom fields. Okay, off to the doom fields I go. La di da di da day. Hey. Cool, is that an. Oh, are you the great beast? I was about to say alien. Well, heck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry, don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The Great Beast hasn't been seen for over hundreds of years! Uh, well, do you know where the Prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond the... despair? Or lives beyond the inevitable? Just take the ladder down, it's always a ladder down. Okay, well, thank you! Off to, to the ladder to the inevitable. Whoa, look at this. Everything else is rubbed out here. That's actually kind of cool with the rubber and the paper being all crumbled up and everything. But I believe that this is the one I have to talk to. The one with the hexagonal, the hexagon, hexagonal shaped head, yeah. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Well, where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of in of the inevitable? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Okay, that was just weird. We just had a bit of an awkward silence, but you know what? I'm just gonna move on. La di da di da di da di da di da di da. Ooh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> oh, that that was pretty cool. But are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Well, do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be gone, though we know better than that. Well, what is the great hole? 
Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. Well, how do I get there? What is the truth what to you? I don't know. Well, I mean, it means everything to me. What just happened? Uh, hello? Oh my goodness, a giant hole. And I'm just standing there being like, hmm. And up. Okay, you just look at the hole and then the hole is like, I'll give you a hole in the face. Okay, Mrs. Packerton, so I believe a new character maybe, but excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. Oh, I was sleeping in the class. I, I was sleeping at school. I was sleeping in the middle of class. Uh, huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. Oh, wait, he was also doing a test? And he, I guess he just finished early and he's like, well, what can I do to buy the time? Oh, you know, maybe I'll just lie on my desk, but maybe rest my eyes for a couple minutes. But then he got caught by the teacher, of course. Oh, that one student decides to look back at me. Uh, I know, dear, you aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? Uh, sure, it won't happen again. Why does the kid- why does that blonde kid who's looking at me looks very ticked? Like, what did I do? And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Hermph. Oh, his name is Travis. Travis Hemps. No, Travis Phelps. What? I have no idea why I was going Helps, because I, I, he just went Humph. Uh, class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. Ding! There goes the bell. Uh, hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Ugh. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Oh, yeah, we're bringing out the guns. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, I wasn't talking to you. Well, you know, if you took that stick out of your butt, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Ooh, roasted! I have more friends than you'll ever have. <laughs> you kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he... What just happened? <gasps> what the heck? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse. Trust me, I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. I mean, it's just a little scratch, and a little blood loss doesn't can't really hurt anybody. Unless you are that type of person that faints at the sight of it. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on. I... You can't... I'm... <gasps> Is she gonna see his true face? That's a very interesting face. Oh, she's not really freaked out by it. She's just calm about it. Um... Well, I guess... I mean, looks don't really matter on the outside. It's what's more on the inside. That's a good life lesson that she's portraying. Uh, there. It looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Huh. Thanks, Ash. It kind of looks cute. It's not gonna lie. <gasps> Larry! Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? Oh, that jerk. I'll get him. Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's gone. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. 
Ha! Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much, even for me. So we're really just going to let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switched bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Heh. <laughs> Seriously? I've never seen anyone love that lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhumane. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> That's all we need. Psst, Larry, I'll help you get rid of Travis when Sal isn't looking. <gasps> you know I'm standing right here. And I heard that. The next day, baloney day. Ooh, Knockfell High School. Got a good look of the school and everything. This is really good. Like, even the flag is moving. The, like, trees are moving. Like, there's wind. That's actually really good. Ugh. That's just unsettling and unhygienic. Okay. We, we got the food. So now what happens here? Does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week too? Aw, oh, hey you guys. Don't ruin lunch for me. It's the only good part of the day. <laughs> Group huddle. I'm in. Me too. Like the trio. Uh, count me in. Oh, no, we're not the trio anymore. It's all four of us. Uh, have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. Who is Maple? Is Maple new to the friend group? Because I don't think I've ever met Maple before. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this baloney. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude. This is funky. Doesn't taste n like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be on to something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take her sandwiches to the science lab. And see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's see who should we talk to. Okay, Maple and Chug, let's go. Oh, uh, hi, Larry. Hey, Maple. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Uh, I mean, if you're not gonna, of course you can have it, Chug. Heck yes! <laughs> Chug is the foodie. The one that will always eat. Oh, Knockfell Warriors! Woo -hoo -hoo. Is there anything? Oh, really? Do I have to talk to Travis the bully? <sighs> Fine. I thought I smelled rubbish. What are you flamers up to? Get bent, Travis. Nice one, Larry. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's bologna day. <laughs> okay. Um, 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 um. I'll just see. Oh, we can go out in the hall, but before I do that, I want to talk to Kim. The weird-looking lunch lady. Maybe that stop, like, maybe the, um... That medical condition that Kim has could be the reason, like it's dropping in the food and it's making it back bad. Okay, uh... Hi Kim, we wanted to ask about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? 
Why you want to know about bologna, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no, we were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back to chairs now. No more questions. Well, do you think we could just see the package or... No packages for you. Just butts and chairs. Go on. Okay. That was no help at all. Oh, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory, though I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I wonder if I could just go through the hall out here. Oh, cool. So there's cafeteria. Oh, my locker. Let's see what's in my locker. Um... Oh, look at this! We're like... We're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Squad! A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Aww. Um... What about this? I've had this backpack since I started going to school. It's been worn around for ages. Okay. Um, what about this one? Just some of my textbooks Todd suggested I should take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. We live in this fascinating and filled with mystery world. What's this? We usually use paper clips, open lockers faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If I had a paper clip I could get into other lockers. But yeah, probably don't do that. It's locked. If I had a paper clip I could get in. Okay. Lockers, lockers, girls room, boys room. Cafeteria, courtyard. Oh, hey Larry. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Okay. Okay, science lab, there we go. Oh my goodness, Albert Einstein, that is so cool. Oh. And the evolution of man too, that's even cooler. I mean, this, these two are the world's greatest discoveries of all mankind. Anyways, sup, Todd? Find anything? Where's Asher? Be right back. Uh, find anything? Not yet. We were able to get the bologna ingredients. No, not yet? Uh, what about Ash? Where is she? She went to get some materials for me. I recommend she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Okay, so do I have to go find her in the janitor's closet? <gasps> 202 Courtyard <gasps> Hi Ash, there you are What's wrong? The closet is locked I need something in there to test the baloney I tried to pick the lock Like Larry showed me But now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole It's jammed up good Could you use some pliers to get that out? Hmm, could use some pliers to get that out, but yeah, that be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Okay. So now I have to find something to get rid of the hairpin. Or... Let's go out in the courtyard. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this small little courtyard. I can go back in the hall. Ooh, window? The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe if I make a loud enough noise. Oh, okay, so I have to make a loud noise to distract the teachers. Ooh, birds. I can't see them. They must be hiding. I wonder what else I can do. There's a bowl up there, but I don't think that's any use, so I'll just leave it there, stuck forever in the tree. Oh, uh, hey, Sally Face, how's the detective work going? Not great so far, but we're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, this is good baloney, nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes so good to you, buddy. Heh, <laughs> she has a point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any event, I hope you're right. Nice! Okay, let's see here. Um, Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. 
What about this? The potato light thingy was a science experiment. Half ah, filled with books. Boyfriend Neil. Aww. That's adorable. And you know what? I I I, I approve of this. I approve this couple. Oh, so I can explore other lockers. Let's look at Ash's locker. Oh, interesting. I can see myself in the mirror too. So we got uh, stuffed dolls, pictures, <laughs> a picture of her and Sally. That's cute. Um, art supplies. Oh, a Polaroid camera. I'll take it just in case. Because I don't know when I'll ever need so Like, it's a just-in-case scenario. Now, I've gone through Ash and Todd's locker. Let's go for Larry's. Whoa. Backpack. Art supplies. One of the paints. Um. All a doodle that Ash made. That's just, um, pretty much it. Any luck yet? Nah, the pin is still stuck in there good. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything useful. Thanks, Sal. Wait a minute. Oh, I was supposed to interact with the tree to get the ball down. Okay, and then I pick the ball with a smiley face up. Oh, and with that, I can use it to distract the teacher, right? Distract, like, throw it at the window? Or how do I do this? Oh, I haven't tried the bathrooms yet, so let's look in here. So we got a, the boys' bathrooms in here. Anything in these stalls? Nothing. Okay, that's good to know. Even though I'm a boy, can I still try and break into the girls' one? I better not. Okay, yep, you're such a decent gentleman, Sal. You're such a decent gentleman. Oh, wait, do I have to use the camera for the birds? Oh, wow, this is so cool. So wait, what am I supposed to find? Because there's not much film left in this, so I gotta be careful with that. Where are they? I hear them. Hello? Birds? Do I have to go for by sound? Oh, it's getting loud. Oh, here we go, right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Click. So what was the point of the picture? Hold on, let me just... Okay, that doesn't give me much information. What do I do with the picture? Oh, okay, now I do, I do have to throw it. It's just that I have to equip the ball with the smiley face. Oh my goodness. And I was just walking back with the fluids trying to figure things out like a derp. So go ahead, throw it. I think that made some noise. Yep. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was those darn birds again. Well, that backfired. Did you get pass? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome! Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you could distract the teachers again, maybe I could just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute, I'll think of something. What if I need to throw it again? Let's give it a try. Will it be the same dialogue? Huh, what was that? I don't know, it sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything, neither do I. It's those birds. That didn't really help. Uh, did you get it? Dude, the file is missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Heh, <laughs> just messing with you, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt! Score! Let's take a look at it! So that's what the camera was for, to take picture. Um. Okay, so name, Kim Yaz Yazzie. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, uh. 
Born in 1967, address 3 Faraway. Phone number, hire date in 1992, position as lunch lady, education, GED, previous employment, amateur nat nature photographer. Notes, Kim has some elephantis elephantiasis. It is not contagious and she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding the birds in the courtyard. Other teachers getting annoyed. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. We're gonna feed the birds. You got it, dude. I got something for you. What is this? A photograph of Birdie? You take a picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the bologna from? Why are you so interested in bologna for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. Is local made by Mrs. Packerton. 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Uh, thank you so much. So... I got some bologna. Oh, do I need to use that for the birds? I'll give it a try. Oh, hello. What is this? A note? I can't believe I missed that. There's a crumbled up note on the ground. Looks like someone tried to throw it out but missed the rubbish. Hmm, couldn't hurt to take a quick peek. I know we don't really know each other, and you probably have your opinions of me. I thought maybe if I told you how I, fe uh, how I feel, things could be different. Is someone trying to write a love letter and then they thought like, ah, oh, this is rubbish and tries to throw it away? The truth is, I can't stop thinking about you. I'm crazy about you. I think you're amazing, but I know these feelings I have are wrong. So, oh, it's a crush. Yep, 100% crush. It's not the way a boy should feel. Shame swallows me whole, just writing these words. <laughs> I would laugh if this was actually Travis that wrote this. My father would harm me, but I can't live in his shadow forever. I just... Then there's a bunch of scribbles after that. Man. <laughs> I'll just put it back on the floor. <laughs> Why not just put it back in the rubbish? Like, come on, be, be proper about it, Sally. Or I guess you're just going to pick it up, read it again, and then just put it back down on the floor. Like, just leave it the way you left, found it. Ooh, there's someone in the bathroom. I better check. Uh, anyone in there? No, duh. Buzz off. Travis, were you just crying a second ago? Was Travis really crying? Sally face, I... No. What the heck? Can't a guy get some privacy? Caught... <laughs> caught you with your pants down. It's okay to have emotions. Or why do you hate me so much? Um, well, it's okay to have emotions. It's okay to be a big softy. <sighs> yeah, for queers. Just leave me alone. No. I'm gonna keep checking on you. And, um... I'm gonna try some other things. How about caught you with your pants down? What? Is this some kind of thing? Get the heck out of here, you queer. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me try the last one now. Why do you hate me so much? Because you and your friends are... Because you and your dumb friends are a bunch of weirdos. It's sick. It's not right. God will never love you. Why should I? <laughs> you know, we aren't all actually the part of the LGBT community, right? I mean, besides for Todd. Todd is so proud to be in that community. But that's part of who he is, and I think it's wonderful. He's one of the kindest people I know. How could anyone hate Todd? Ugh. You don't even know us. Is your father pushing these beliefs on you, or stop being so close-minded? Well, I'm pretty sure- I'm just guessing. Is it the dad doing this? Just because my dad is a preacher doesn't mean he owns me in my own person. Well, I don't believe you. I don't need you to, freak. Just leave me alone. I better head back to the science lab because I have to meet Larry and Todd. And I think by the time I've dealt with talking with Travis, hopefully Ash would be back in the lab. So let's go. Everyone's here. Great. Got more baloney? Perfect. 
or Gummo Baloney. Perfect. Uh, Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved there. Uh, she tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So, what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? Heh, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. And then off we go. In, in style. Okay, so Larry, I need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Desk. Darn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Dude, how the heck are we going to get this thing open? Let me take a look at it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh! Th they're Roman numerals! I think... I think the combo is 3141. Like the... The number on top of the pie. So let's try 3141. So... 3141. Yes! Got it open! Nice one, dude. What's inside? Ah, uh, just a bunch of math... Math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Ooh! Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Ooh, this is some hoodoo stuff. Um, what is this? Crystals, they're kind of cool. Um, maybe for cooking, spices, cauldron spices, skull. Don't know why she has a bird skull. In a book. Oh, a Bible. And whatever this thing is. Strange metal objects, similar to Jim's puzzle. <gasps> Take it! There's another one of these metal boxes, like the... What happened? Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Oh. Oh, okay, I'm back. Um, I have no idea how to say that, so. Whoa! I just went from the afterlife and back. Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But, never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. So, Mrs. Packerton is a witch? Uh, hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that, though. Aw. Oh. Later that day. Bum bum bum. We're back at the apartments now. Actually, the school thing was actually a nice little ch change of scenery. and like a nice pace and everything. Uh, I'll need a few things to get it ready. Now that's cool. Uh, I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Uh... What is this? 
<laughs> the mom just looks like she's zoning out. Oh, now I know why. Now I know why. Because the thing on the table. But I wouldn't be hurt to, like, have a conversation with them. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off to another adventure? So, something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. Ah, you're totally right about that. Yeah, just gotta seize the moment. But sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know. Ray and I were just watching some television and then he passed right out like a little baby. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so. But you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, isn't it so nice without that, without all that noise, you know, that <laughs> and all that other TV noises. Well, I better get going. I better go meet Todd now, after that weird encounter with the parents. Wait, can I go in the bedroom? Oh, it's locked. Okay. To Todd's room! Are you ready? Ready or not yet, I'll be right back. No, ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Before we get started, you may want to go get your super gear boy just in case. Ah, uh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be right back. I, I guess I probably left it in my room. So, BRB. <gasps> oh, goodness, that actually made me jump. Sorry, Gizmo. I didn't realize you were in here. And you're taking a buff? Okay, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Ooh, a note. Sal, I had to go back into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge. If you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been a available much lately. Maybe we can go do something this weekend, love dad. Okay. There's something under the bed. What is it? It's an old photo of mom. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi mom, I miss you. I hope you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. And I just put the picture back. <gasps> okay, I got the gear boy. And for a random bonus, I picked up a teacup. I don't know if I'll, like, if there'll be any use of that, but I figured, I mean, it was a thing that I can interact with and pick up, so I figured, why not? Also, I'm not gonna lie, I am really digging the Edward shovel hands. <laughs> it's like I'm in an alternate reality where instead of he, Edward has scissors for hands, he has shovel for hands, and he mostly does, I mean, with a shovel, it's, it's kind of easy to like just shovel food and do gardening and all that and it's less dangerous like you won't really cut someone or i mean you could hit them oh you can even use it as like a pan to cook stuff on it too are you ready yes i am fully ready now i've tapped into the security cameras and we will be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get back be careful okay I guess we're breaking into the school now? <gasps> we were just, we're in, we were gonna break into her apartment. Got it. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Cool, spooks. Dude, it smells like butt in here. Butt and old feet. Good lord. We better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? I don't know. That painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. Maybe as a precaution, I can try the Super Gear Boy as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just do this. Walk around. Anything. 
Anything unusual? So far, nothing. Okay, let's try bedroom number two. It's locked. Well, what about bedroom one? Locked, and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. Okay. Ooh, a clock! The clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. So 314, that might be a code. Uh, it's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. Must be broken. Um. Nappies? There's a big thing of nappies. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton is ancient. <laughs> okay, then. Let me just go into the bathroom. She did not clean up in here. And Oh, that is so disgusting. She left a dookie behind. Gross, there's a big old log in there. Let me just check to make sure there's no supernatural activity trapped in this stinkiness. Okay, nothing. What about the bathtub? When's the last time she cleaned this? I guess she hasn't really. Let's get out of there. <sighs> um, Larry, any suggestions? Anything strange in the fridge? No, it looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Whoa, what did I just do? It's filled with rolls of bologna, along with some frozen vegetables and other various foods. Nothing out of place, really. Oh, that was a freezer, so I guess there's another freezer in- Oh, got it! Good job, Larry. Now, let's open it up. I had to talk to you. What in the world? Why does he have that in the freezer? And with demonic s scrolls. 1047. I gotta keep that. I go, okay. 1047. 1047. I knew it. That is just disgusting. It is goats. I called it, man. Also gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into these bedroom or into those bedrooms. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I knew there was something suspicious when I saw the fruit jam pile. Let's hit R and contact the ghost from beyond. Oh, it's the poor goat. Um, hi, little buddy. Bah, bah, bah. Bah. Bah, bah. That is so sad. What in the heck was that? A ghost goat. Apparently that probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. <laughs> Anyways. Wait a minute. What's going on with the radio here? <gasps> oh! Oh! Is it for the station? 1047? Or... Um... Wait, hold on. 1047? Oh, the clock goes! Nice! Uh, Larry, any suggestions? Oh, this is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. Okay. Um... Bedroom? Weird mechanism on the lock. Um, I th okay, after walking backwards and forwards, I think I figured it out. I think I need to change each of the stations to correlate as the clock. Right? So let me try 89.3. Like, so it's technically 09.30, right? Or is it only the three numbers? It's only the 100, so like, let's try 100 to, like, I'm just gonna give that a try. Whoa! That unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. I, I was just, I don't know if that works, but I, I mean, I progressed, so let's go. Let's go check out what is, what's hiding in bedroom number one. Oh, there's someone in here. Oh, goodness. 
Hello? That's just weird. Oh, it's her husband, Mr. Packerton. Hello? I don't think he hears you. That's why with all the nappies and why it smells off in here. You're right, looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is messed up. And definitely where that rancid smell is coming from too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. Okay, so what do we have to look for? Newspapers? All of these papers are talking about the par about the parish of Mr. Packerton. If he's gone, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the heck are there so many poopy field nappies in here? Like seriously, what the heck? I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No. No, never mind. I don't even want to think about it. I think if the mystery ingredient was human poo, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. Let me just check if there's any ghost paranormal activity going on in here. Ah, yep. Yes, we do. Oh, the ghost of Mr. Packerton. Young child, please. Help me. How can you be? Are you gone? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Uh, did your wife do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape this endless agony. Uh, well, what's in the baloney? Baloney? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison. My tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. Okay, well, I tried. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... Wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. But are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Meh, YOLO. He's free! Ugh, oh, I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. It's what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. I just... <gasps> oh no, she's back! Quick, behind that dresser! I love the way we're hiding. <laughs> uh, if we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. Yeah, just like a regular bromance is all. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Same to you. Oh, Larry trying to defend us! Oh, the shadow of Mrs. Packerton. Oh! <laughs> it's just Ash. Oh! Hey, sorry to ru ruin the moment, but what the heck is this place? Ashley, you scared the living daylights out of us. I can see that. Yeah, and even Larry was, like, defending me, too. That was so sweet. Hey, man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Um, is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... Yeah, he's gone now because I pulled the plug. It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Darn. And please don't tell me this is what's going on, what's going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. <laughs> How convenient. One of these keys has to open that other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. Wait, so... Let me just see. Three keys! Okay. So one of them has to be it. So let's go back into the living room. And let's all go to bedroom number two. Oh, we're in! I don't know which key it was, but we're in! Oh, what? 
in the... What? Oh my goodness. This is... This is messed up. Like, she even has the walls of missing people. <gasps> is she using them? In the machines? That is messed up. That if it's people meet and the balloon... It's cannibalism! This can't be good. Oh, freezer, freezer. Another combo lock. Wait, one... Is it three? One, four, one? It's not that. There's gotta be an... It's a different code. It wouldn't be that easy. But I'll just examine this. It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here. Um, uh, madama. Any suggestions? This room gives me the creeps, man. Me too, it's major creeps fill in here. Okay, let me check for any ghost activity. Ghost activity... No. Wait. How do I... Is it reverse? Like, one, three... One... Four? Wait, there must be something else I picked up. Oh wait, was it? Oh wait, did I get? Did I get the pine confused? Is it supposed to be one four one three, right? Oh, I got it. What is with this art style? Why does Larry look? Oh, that is why. <laughs> I like the sound effect of Larry going <laughs> I mean yeah I agree with you dude I agree with you that is just completely messed up <laughs> like why we're in way over our heads here we need to get help get the policeman there are no bones what there aren't any bones in here it's all just fleshy skin meat dude no come on <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over Larry just going, Oh, and the puke. Oh, that's gross, but I love it. I love the quality and everything, but Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There is no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The Colt, Luke, Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson, who knows what else this place was has hidden? We can't trust the cops, and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we told them about. They think it's just all in our heads, that it's all imaginary. But then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... <laughs> I don't think I'll ever look at that baloney the same again. Because it's... Cannibalism! <gasps> Shucks to cannibal now, without even knowing. Well? Well what? You asked why I don't eat the baloney, and I've told you why. Because it scarred Sally for life. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story and we'll air it in its entirety, without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? I'll tell you what, you finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. <laughs> I mean, no further comment. But wait, Todd is in the hospital? How did that happen? Before we left Mrs. Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Well, what was it? Hey guys, come look at this! Okay, we're coming, we're coming. Whoa, a chute's behind the painting? There's some kind of rubbish chute hiding behind that painting. 
That's weird. This building doesn't even have rubbish chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. It's just endless darkness. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Oh, and then she's gonna fall through. Cause the cause she's like leaning too far like too far in. Oh! I called it! I straight up called it! Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash? Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How are we... What are we... I'm going to shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or land on her? If she's still alive, that could harm her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. Oh! Um... Why do I keep coming back to this world? I just don't understand the message, but I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. It goes to the basement? What's going on, Sal? What did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. Help. What? What's going on? Uh. What did. What just happened? What. We were like moving stuff around. Uh. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. All right, you lead the way, Larry. Uh, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packerton's looks like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Cha-ching! Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. And you know what I need to do? Ghost check! 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 Nope, we're good! This room is cleared! Let's try bedroom number two! Wait! Ghost check! Ghost check! Ghost check! Hole in the floor! Ghost check! Nope! No ghosts. We're clear. Let me check this bedroom. Ghost check. Ghost check. Ghost check. Ghost check. Ghost check. Ghost check. Clear. This room is cleared. Let's interact with this carpet. The carpet is torn up here. It looks like... Hmm. It looks like... Hmm. Wait, what are you doing? Guys, come check this out. Oh, what did Sally find? <gasps> a trap door! A convenient, like, cut in the carpet to roll it to reveal a trap door. Dude! There must have been an undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like? I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Packerson fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that chute could lead to. Okay, the key works. It opened up the trap door. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. That looks sus. That looks extreme sus. But let's go. Just la di da di da 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 da. What is this? May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting? This looks bad. It's a secret underground satanic cult thing. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as heck. 
Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through this gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any ob obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. They must have built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. Well, we better split up, split up and search the room. Individually. This place is huge! Look at this! Is there anything for me to interact with? Oh, examine this. An old leather-bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. Like the one I found in the fridge. The text is written in another language, and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. Okay, then. Anything else I can interact with? I can mostly just... Talk. I just walked off screen, but let's talk to Todd. It's a bit strange that the place has this light... Has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though this green bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I looked all around this area. Oh, unless it's like a clap on, clap off type of thing. Huh. What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stubbing your toe. Hurts like heck, dude. Dude? It hurts like heck, too. <laughs> um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found something on the floor. Nice. I found a green light bulb, but I noticed another book I, I can examine, too. An old leather-bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read it. Uh, blood is splattered on some of the pages and the book is burned across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. Well, don't touch it, it's bad. Wait. Can I use the light bulb? Okay, I did it. Oh, do I need to find like two more, right? Checking for ghosts. Checking for ghosts. Must check for the go- Ooh, wait a minute. Ghost activity! It just turned on the light. Well? Intriguing. These green lights seem to be part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy is transferred to the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing the same type of energy as the Super Gear Boy emits. Since you were able to trigger them with it. Oh, what do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I've dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural, perhaps even to summon the red eye demon. I'm a red eye. I'm part red eye demon. It's a good thing when the cold isn't around anymore. The demon, too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything, anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. Okay, you do what you do, you do what you do, gotta do, dude. Turn this on. Dude, those little ob obelisk thingies just got bigger. Uh, scope it out. Sure thing. With my gear boy in hand, I shall test this baby out. I guess no. Oh, wait, these things. Pull this. Oh, it's a little puzzle thingy. Okay. Pull this. Hey, I did it! <laughs> I was just watching it just spin and I got it I got it all set and then hit this and it is opened nice let's go oh dude what are you trying to give me a heart attack that scared the living daylights out of me sorry I got the gate open for a second but that switch won't stay down Todd, can you come stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> I get it's always me and Larry. Are you ready, my dude? No, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Friendship. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Don't worry, we'll be careful. Uh, looks like there are two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. 
I mean, we do have to cover more ground, eventually. Ugh, why do these things always happen to me? Wait a minute. <gasps> no way! I'm controlling Larry now. This is amazing! Look at this! I can go through here. Uh, Sal went that way. I need to go the other way. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool! I can't believe I'm controlling someone else other than Sally! <gasps> oh, the sound is just perfect. We got doors here. Oh, this place is like a maze. Well, let's give it a whirl. So let's try here. And... Hmm... This one? I have no idea what I'm even doing. This is just amazing. This is so cool. Oh, I'm kind of back to where I'm started. Oh, whoops. So which door is the right way? Okay, so this one. And then... Da! Ah! What am I even doing? I have no idea where I'm even going right now. I'm just guessing at this point. Oh, this is new! 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 Okay. Um, finally figured it out. So we got a broken little podium right here. We got a door right here. Uh, gotta figure out how to open this stupid gate. Well, we got pressure plates, so step on them. Ooh, wait a minute. Mm. How do you do this? Then, like this. Ah! Oh, I got it! I was just walking backwards and forwards on it forever! Ah, oh, but I got it. I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now let's open the door and move on! Oh, I'm playing Sally now! Oh, okay. That just doesn't really question it. Okay. I can't believe I have to do all this all over again. Hey. Not gonna like myself for this. Okay, so this is empty, so that is new. So this? No? Oh no, if I make the wrong path, everything's so confusing. Okay. Let me try this again. So it was this one? Okay. And this one? Okay. And this one? No! Thought I was on to something, but I guess not. Rah. Which one haven't I tried yet? This one? And then... Is it this one? Oh my goodness! Okay. Good. Good. I moved on. So this is a little different from Larry's, but, uh, I mean, the podium's, like, not broken or anything, but let's examine this. An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Interesting. We got another door here. Uh, I need to get this open. And, of course, we got these. Of course. Why must you do this to me? Meh. Oh, I got it! And I was just walking backwards and forwards. Oh, that's just the key. Just keep walking backwards and forwards until you've unlocked it. Now, let's move on. Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind the gate is in the center of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Uh, yeah, Ash, why can't you just call out for us? But I guess we gotta hit, like, hit these, uh, pull these levers now. Let's go. Ooh, cool. Huh? Hmm, interesting. Also, I noticed a book, so let me check this real quick. 
An old book with a metal cover. This one has a symbol that almost looks like an hourglass. The pages are stiff and filled with a bizarre script. Looking at this making me tear, making me tear up. I can't help feeling a deep, unexplainable sadness. Interesting. Now let's examine this. Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Whoa! That is so cool. It worked! Nice! Whoa! Let's go in and save Ash! Oh my goodness. Holy muffins, for we are the devourers of God. Oh, this is- now we know where all the bones are. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Ash! Ash! She fell in a pile of bones! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Is she- no, oh, oh, she's probably just unconscious, hopefully. Oh, she's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. After an impact like that, or after all that screaming and falling, she just felt faint. Um, huh? She's awake! What- what's going on? What- where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid, uh, rubbish chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. <laughs> but everything else is definitely broken. <laughs> Man, Ash, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. Uh, he had one of his vision thingies, and then he found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long creepy stairs, and then we found this crazy cult temple or something down here, and then there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes, and Todd... Todd is holding the front gate to open for us. We should get back there. Wow. This is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Aww. And then we just all magically left the trapdoor cellar, but... Uh, so what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has eliminated a lot of people, and the baloney. Ugh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in an occult as well. Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door, just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Oh, hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably, like, before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. I mean, Todd, your parents are pretty much high all the time. Like, they've had that... Uh, they've been... Taking that adult candy, man. And, uh, and other adult stuff. Maybe we should just eliminate her. Larry! What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should eliminate her. She's old, so it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, we can't just eliminate someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others. But in this case, Larry might be right. Are you serious, Todd? Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all of the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Addison Apartments, and in Knockfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie, and the Holmes family incidents. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. Wow. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are petty things, like being popular and having nice hair. 
Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning, anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Wait, what just happened then? Oh, okay, that just explains it. Sorry, I should be reading this. Um, ahem. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were... were oofed on impact. Wow, that's... Oddly quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockfell High teacher. Uh, oofed by drunk driver. Of course you won't find anything about the... Bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see... I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth. And you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will be aired in full. I'll always keep my word. And I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. Well, I mean, yeah, everyone. I have a lot of enemies or fans. No, mostly enemies. More people who despise me for being a criminal. Which I'm starting to question, like, how am I, how did I wound myself up in the position of being a criminal? You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry, uh, oh, sorry, a bit burpy, um, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? Seen what though? Wait, the Sally face trial today for mass, including the entire family. The mass incident. Wait, so the Sally face eliminator trial today for a mass incident, including the entire family. Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally. Face Eliminator. Campbell is a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said they were ver to be very close in their high school. How dare she betray me? How dare she testify against me? Oh, Sally's crying! Oh, look, he just crumbled it up like, grr! How could she? What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, what about Todd? We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. And? He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking. So we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. <gasps> is he forever insane? He doesn't know fantasy from reality, and all he wants is... the inevitable. When he is denied the release of his wishes, he becomes extremely violent. I need to help him. Somehow I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Oh, you do? Why are we panning in on Todd? <gasps> Okay, now. <laughs> that was just weird. I was like, why were we panning in on him? And then, boom, jump scare. 